I'm going to show you how to convert Fortnite's models and textures to CSGO. Things you will need 3DS Max, Wallworm, ActorX Importer Script, Source SDK, Hammer, UE Viewer, Fortnite, AES Encryption Key. Let's get started. Alright, so once you find a model that you want to use, I guess we're going to use this uh, uh, mail truck. Um, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so to actually open up Fortnite's files, uh, you're going to want to open up U model, and you're going to want to direct it to where the game is, and it is in your program files, Epic Games, Fortnite game, content, packs. You open that up, I'm going to switch that to PC, it's going to ask you for an encryption key. Uh, every time the game is updated, you, uh, they change the encryption keys, so you're going to have to find it. Uh, if we're going to do a vehicle, we're going to do the mail truck. It's going to be under vehicles. We're going to want the mesh and mail truck right there. We're going to export it. Uh, we're gonna, it's, it, sometimes it'll ask you if you want to pick an engine. I'm just going to pick the latest uh, Unreal Engine. So it's extracting. We're going to go with the materials and I'm gonna go down here and find the uh, find the mail truck mail truck. Um, so these all stand for different things. This is like the diffuse and the normal and the, the specular. But we're just gonna go with the diffuse because this is gonna be easy. Okay, done with that. Once you've downloaded the Actor X importer, the script goes into your program files, Autodesk, 3ds Max scripts folder and you're going to access that inside 3ds Max. Sean Olson does a pretty good job uh, explaining how to install Wallworm so uh, you could either check it out from him or you can put the Wallworm folder inside the 3ds Max root directory and run the install script. Okay so once you're in 3ds Max you're going to click on this little wrench go down to run script we're going to run our ActorX importer script. It's going to pop up this little window import PSK we're in the meshes uh, if it's if it takes you right to here this is where it will export all of the files we're in vehicles we'll go to the meshes we're gonna do the mail truck and it is going to import mail truck now all you have to do uh, right now it's a little big uh, it's about twice this uh, size so we're gonna sc scale it down a little bit okay and we are going to go to our materials and it's it's in the same spot under vehicles but it's under materials uh, scroll down to find your uh, mail truck and it doesn't matter which which one you use uh, as long as it's the diffuse the D there's a mail truck uh, up here you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it Fortnite mail truck uh, 50% and then you go to Wallworm model tools pick your model and set a surface property to it. Go metal, static prop up there. Export the VTFs and uh, when you click this it will uh, export it to the right folder. I've already done it so it won't do it again. Uh, then you click on collision model, click on concave and uh, go to quick haul this is uh, an easier way I found to do this okay so we're gonna hide our selected and it's gonna show us just this um, then I'm gonna select it go to element I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm going to alt click what I actually want to keep so for a collision model you can get uh, 
I mean, you can get as in depth as you want, like you could throw the bumper in, but I'm going to delete the rest. Check my hull count. Eight. It's pretty good. I'm going to unhide everything. And I'm going to export. And we're done. We'll check it out in the game. Uh, you can open it up in Model Viewer to see your model and click on the physics model to see the collision and let's check it out in Hammer okay so here we are in Hammer I just made a little nothing map and uh, we're going to add our mail truck so go to the entity prop static I'm sure you know this um, world model and we're going to go to our Fortnite mail truck 50 uh, that's it right there hit apply and we're gonna um, make sure it is even with the ground and there it is bring our guy next to it and you can see that it is the right height so uh, let's check it out in game alright so here's a couple of uh, extra models I put in there's the hot rod there's the camper uh, the marauder the medevac the bunker there's a warcraft house there's my sleeping goblin there's our mail truck uh, there's a forklift pushing over one of those lifts and so yeah lots of cool stuff you could do lots of cool stuff you could do lots of cool stuff you could do I could even climb